Peace and good evening, family. My name is Steven Zorosko. I'll come here to talk to you about immigration. Immigration is a political buzzword that simplifies a human issue. Unfortunately, what it truly, uh, unfortunately, what it truly cannot be discussed without having to deal with rhetoric that incites hate, fear, rejection, and dehumanization. We are discussing morality today and how that is reflected in our politics. Because what we have been experiencing this past year is the exposure of the current morally bankrupt system of politics that we have making decisions over our lives. Deciding for ourselves is often not a privilege granted to us with our current government or criminal justice system. But immigration is an issue of a decision. A decision to leave or flee a place that can no longer or never did guarantee the safety or security that a good life should require. Whether by war, violence, economic instability, or escape and rejection. There are people who are now immigrants in this country because they are determined to have a better life for themselves and for their families. So they made a decision to leave. We live in a country in which its inception is based on the very fact that a group of people made the same decision to flee persecution. Only to have generations later, its government and large portions of its population reject its own history and fail to honor it. This is a moral issue. Hypocrisy is the only way that we can highlight the lack of morality. I was born in Queens, New York to immigrant Colombian parents. And I'm a historian, I'm going to school for history at Texas Southern University. And New York is a special place for immigration because it's the original romanticized port of immigrants. That's where the Italian immigrants came, the Polish immigrants came, the Irish immigrants came, and they all faced rejection and hate and violence. But as soon as immigrants started to come in from everywhere else but Europe, and maybe a shade too dark, those Irish, those Italians, those Polish became a lot more united with the society that used to reject them in order to reject the new darker shade of immigrants. And that's the problem we have today. The problem today still persists. And I wanna talk about a solution. Because the same problem of mass incarceration that plagues the black community is connected financially to the mass detention and deportations of the brown community. So it is our goal, our duty, our job to topple down those two pillars of immorality. And the way that we can do that is to unify. And I'm actually honored to have Dr. Barber here because I, don't know, I know it was briefly, but in April I met you in Washington, and it was during the Democracy Awakening, and you spoke, and he actually said something inspired me because being here in Houston as a South, he said that there was a coalition of young black and brown youth that's gonna flip the South. And I believe in that. And I actually walked up to Dr. Barber and I told him that he inspired me with that speech and I shook his hand and I told him, if you ever come to Houston, you're going to see that black and brown coalition that we've been building here. Welcome to Houston. Thank you. <laughs>